Hello, ThinkPad collectors, Pentium M fans, and Sub Notebook enthusiasts. This is Catch Episode 5. Uh, this is Saucy, otherwise known as James or X Sauce on certain days. Uh, this is going to be about the IBM ThinkPad X31. This particular model is uh, the type is 2884CWU. Uh, this isn't necessarily scripted, so it's going to go whatever. My voice is a little bit raspy because I'm, I got like some kind of weird like sick thing going on. It's like hot in El Cajon and I, <laughs> I don't know, I, I have the fan on and so I guess that somehow got me sick. Um, this X31 was bought, uh, I bought this from ThinkPad forum user Bibbin, who was originally from New York, but he sold it to me around 2015. Funny thing was that he happened to be in San Diego and so we met up at Bows Point off of Miramar Road. Uh, awesome place to go for like seafood and beer. There's a lot of like vegan options and uh, I think gluten-free options too. Uh, this computer has a 1.4 gigahertz Pentium M. It uses a Radeon ATI or no AM is it AT, yes, a, a, ATI Radeon 7000 graphics, and it has a 40 gigabyte hard drive with uh, one gig of RAM. I have two 512 modules in there by Ramadoc, something like that. Like that. Um, I didn't. I, this is pretty much a stock configuration that Bibbin had on it. He uh, had been. Hey, had done an awesome upgrade though. He it has an uh, an AFFS <clears throat> display. However, it's glossy. Uh, it is similar to an IPS dis display. Uh, this was like a popular mod, I guess, back in the day for a better screen. So. This is pretty pretty cool because it, it was kind of it was done by the guy who I think he was one of the first people to do it. And he has like a mod service for it, so I bought it for a nice sum of sixty dollars. Uh, he was you know super cool. Gave me it was a pretty good deal I think at the time, um, and it's uh, it's in fairly good condition. I think really all I have to do is replace the uh, keyboard. Um, I think the the little stickers have came off from there. There's a little scratch on the uh, on the little faceplate on there, but it's not really a big deal. Looks like I could add a, a, a screwdriver right here if I really want to. And on the bottom and sides, uh, the palm wrist has a little crack right there. And the bottom, there's just like a little broken part uh, right there. And I'm missing. I don't. I probably lost that screw for the hard drive. I'm currently running uh, Bunsen Labs, I believe, or CrunchBank, whatever you want to call it. It is an old version. Uh, it's actually taken from my T30, which uh, was running. It's, it's my T30's hard drive that's running inside there. I messed up installing. I was trying to install an OS on here and it had some difficulty. I don't know, not know why. I think it's because I don't know if it supports USB boot. It was kind of it's kind of strange, but after like you know like a day and a half of frustration, I gave up. And then I just took my hard drive from my T30, put it inside there, and it worked. So I call it a day. Uh, I would have been doing a, a video of my t of a T30 because I I have four of them, and sadly one of them had an SXGA display and it died for some odd reason. There was a blown capacitor that I tried to replace and failed. And yeah, so I'm bummed out about that. But uh, this system is a blast to use. Um, it has very, it's it has it's pretty, oh, Brandy Crunchman, it looks pretty minimal right there. But um, as a not too great of a speaker, it does, it runs a little bit warm, it doesn't run hot. Um, it's just the older technology, you know, it doesn't run cool. Uh, I wouldn't, it's like, I mean, it's, it runs cooler than my Chromebook, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, and the fan doesn't really run too loud. Let me see if it, right now it's silent, can't hear it at all. Uh, it has like a like a little nice little whir. I could run like five uh, tabs on Chrome and it runs okay. Uh, it was stuttering when I was playing music from uh, the DIFM stream, so there, there's that. But um, other than that, it's a it's one for me to collect. Uh, I I my first ThinkPad was the X1 or no, I'm sorry X61 tablet, and. Um, I love IPS displays, and from there, I like to collect, you know, IPS ThinkPads. Uh, I think this is not my first ThinkPad collectible. I had a, you know, A31, uh, T43P, uh, then I 
you know, I I'm, I like the little ones too. Yeah, I had a you know 701 C, uh, 240, 235 and a 240. Uh, so yeah, anywho, getting a weird tangent, but the X31 is the I think it was released around the same time as the T40 maybe. Um, it, the the numbering system gets kind of weird because the the Pentium they made the A30 with a Pentium 3M processor, and then the T4, the T30, and the, and the A31, they came out with uh, Pentium 4Ms, and uh, yeah, it gets really weird. But but then eventually, uh, Intel they they started making the successor for the Pentium 4M was the uh, Pentium M. They went in two different ways. They went you know Pentium M, and then they went to the mobile Pentium 4 processor. Yeah, R really strange, but this uses a 1.4 gigahertz Pentium M, as I said earlier. And then, there is, so you have the X30, the X31, the X32. But the thing was, is that that is not the, that is not the successful timeline of it. Because after the X31, IBM released the X40. And, and IBM, they, tried to, they marketed the X40 as a, as a, it was a completely different machine. The X40 actually uses a uh, low voltage Pentium M, which Intel just released. And so uh, it was significantly underpowered against the T40 as the X series, you know, you're basically able to get a pretty much, they're pretty much like a portable of the T series without some features, which would be replaced by the uh, dock if you ever got it, or the, not the, uh, the ultra base, I should say. And so IBM originally they released the X40. It was okay. It had I think it had one soldered on RAM slot and it had two slots to upgrade from. It's it's a strange system, but um, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit sick. But um, a lot of people complained about the X40's performance. Uh, you know, being fans of the sub notebook, this was like that was like the precursor to the netbook, the Pentium M, the low voltage Pent Pentium M. And so when IBM released the X41, they released the X32. So it's kind of weird that they had like their newer design and then they brought back the old one with like upgraded specs. I, I don't know. It's really strange. I think they might have used the same. I think it's just like an upgraded Pentium, uh, Pentium M processor on the X32. But <clears throat> buying one of these, uh, they're fairly you could get these for under like seventy dollars shipped but the problem is that you could get it you could get a working one or broken one from the same price uh there was a seller who had eight of these i think brand new for uh three hundred fifty dollars and i thought that would have been a spectacular deal to have um but the x30 they seem to sell for a little bit more it's really strange because they all sell for about the same price even though the x 31 is better. The X32 is, I, I do want to eventually get an X32 for it being the last one. And I probably want to get an X40, but the thing with the X40 is that it uses a 1.8 inch hard drive. And those hard drives were notorious for being bad. Uh, I think they were the uh, the ZIF card or the uh, zero, zero insertion force cards. They're really weird. Uh, <clears throat> I'm getting like a weird tangent going on right now, but. Yeah, uh, I recorded some video of the X31 of me using it. I do love it. It's pretty awesome. I'm going to hold on to it. I, I have really have no reason to, to, to get rid of it. Um, it goes well with the X61 and my uh, X300 or S70, whatever you want to call it. And eventually, I do want to get the uh, X20 series because they actually had... The X20 was weird because uh, the X30s... Their ultra base, they only allowed one one connector. Uh, they only allowed a, a, a one ultra bay, I should say. For the X20, they had a, a floppy drive standard, uh, then the you know ultra bay, so you could have a you know CD. So like the X20, arguably, was more fully featured than the X30, uh, you know, if, uh, with the ultra bases, you know, against each other. Um, I think this will support the uh, advanced dock or the advanced port replicator. I, I forget what it's called. So you could do like a DGPU on it if you had like the you know external monitor. 
I didn't do my research on that, so I might be wrong. So maybe I'll edit that out, but I most likely won't. Um, and I guess that's about it. I'm getting kind of hungry right now, so I'm going to just end it at that. And here's the rest of the video of me trying it out. Here is the bottom of the machine. If you guys need a COA, go ahead and read that. But um, it has a pretty, it has a lot of stuff going on as we can see. We have some uh, difference of the color with the uh, plastic, the plastic uh, covers and the bottom of the magnesium frame. Uh, the battery is in the front, uh, oddly. Um, a lot of our, a lot of the later ThinkPads, they started having the battery in the back as well as having like a little, um, like a handle for it. Uh, right now, I can't think of if the X40 had it, but I know it, it does happen on the X, uh, X60. Uh, I believe it was introduced in the T, T40 was the first one to start doing it. But yeah, super, super sweet, super sweet stuff. Here is the uh, CPU uh, events, and we have the uh, CPU, of course, the fan right there. Uh, it uses, look, looks like it uses like a copper, and then um, looks like we have like some metal right there. The little, we have some pretty tiny little rubber feet. We got some, we got two, you know, on the back, of course. And then we also got some for the uh, front, but it looks like those go out. Um, I like how they have like that little latch, well, not to say latch, but the little bump right there so that your battery, you know, doesn't get fully degraded also. Uh, let's go ahead and get to this side. Um, we have the... I think that's the uh, CF card slot, and then we also have an express card slot right there. And I think that's Firewire. And then also right above it, or I guess in front of it, we have the uh, IR uh, infrared reader. Um, if you guys want to do uh, wireless signals and all that good stuff. We have a little USB port, and we also have the headphone jack. The I think that's a direct line in, and also the uh, microphone jack. So. One thing I miss is the wonderful colors that these IBM ThinkPads have. We have these, you know, super striking uh, blue, green, red. Um, I like them. Maybe some other people don't, but um, I thought they were pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and show the uh, front of it from uh, upside down. And we have the two, the two lid latches. They could end up getting rid of this because it seemed to be a little bit inconvenient when they you were able to do it off of one. So each one has, you know, its own little unit right here and right here. And the ones that only have one have just a gigantic bar that goes across from it. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot to talk about the uh, hard drive. So there is the hard drive right there. Um, I would take it out right now, but I put it on standby. As I said earlier, I took it from my T30 with the crunch bag installed because I, <clears throat> I, couldn't under I couldn't figure out how to... I was trying to find a newer distro to use, and I couldn't. I couldn't figure one out. So um, luckily, I didn't want to do a reinstall of Crunchbag, and yeah. And also, we have just one speaker right there. It is uh, pretty tinny. I'll play some music later so we can see. And and then of course we have like these little. I don't know what the heck they are. The grips for for when you open it. I guess. Kensington lock. And then, of course, we have the uh, the power input. We have a parallel port, and we also have a, a VGA, uh, you know, out right next to a USB and some vents. And it looks like we have our kind of weird. They have the uh, monitor, the uh, networking uh, LEDs right there next to the land, and then the telephone jack. I'm not sure. I think there, there should be a, a stick cover there. So we'll have to do that. We'll have to f figure that out another day. But a lot, what I really like about some of the, the old, uh, the Pentium 4, or I should say the, the 300 th or 30 series ThinkPads, is that they did like this little like chop off cut that really, I think, gives it a certain style among all the other ThinkPads. From it just being like a boring square, they gave it like that notebook, you know, kind of, that you know, the, the file, the file, um, you know, a little bent that you find on notebook papers. Um, I haven't really tested the the docking port. I'm not sure if it works on a crunch bag, but it should. One thing I did notice though, was that in the front, we have the uh, dock, looks like the dock uh, part right here broke off. So I'm not sure if this is a common thing on uh, X, X, uh, X30s, 
but that did break off but however this one is still in pretty good condition and I guess last but not least let's go ahead and look I think it there I think it does have a they came with a Wi-Fi pre-installed and there is the model type number uh, let's see if I can zoom in correctly on it 2884 CWU and it was produced I guess in uh, 2004 of uh, I guess May we have the indicator lights I've got the uh, it looks like it's charging the battery's not in the best shape and then we I don't know why it has that little the center center thing let me see if I can open this with only one hand all right oh my gosh oh I guess it's possible I guess it's possible Ooh, we got some weird, weird stuff going on. I don't know if that's part of the system. I don't think so. Looks like my computer's not responding. Huh. Guess we're gonna have to restart this thing. Let's see. Let's see if it goes away if I turn it off. Um, I wasn't able to turn this machine on the first time. Um, for some odd reason. It uh, would just give me a black screen, and I had—I think it has something to do with a faulty RAM, RAM slot. Uh oh, it's staying. Let's see. It looks kind of cool, but it shouldn't be there. I wonder why it's doing that. It's really strange. Maybe it might be because of the display. I'm not too sure, but let's go ahead and press F2 so I can kind of figure out. <laughs> it looks kind of neat. But uh, it shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> I guess I should be pressing F1. Uh, let's see. How do you go away? Oh, man. It's, it's staying there. Uh, let me go ahead and take out the uh, RAM, put it back in, take it, you know, take it on and off again. go ahead and just simply hmm. put it back in and pick it back out I only have 512 megabytes that's okay it doesn't need anything special let's give it another shot Uh, it's still there. It looks like it's kind of going away. Uh, it's really strange. Oh well, we're going to just do the rest of the review with it like this. So, um, despite me liking, you know, I got this for the screen, I guess it's just going to look like that from now on. I I think I do need to do like a system, uh, system uh, you know, new motherboard, system board I should say. But um, but that will be it. That will be another day. Um, maybe it's just because it got a little bit too warm. I'm not too. I'm not too sure why it would do that. Here we have the system booting up, running crunch bag, bang, bag bang. It is. Uh, I think it's pretty sweet. I loved using this on my T30, and putting it on this system. Actually, I guess it worked just fine. Oh, now we see we see this thing coming up more. Let me see if maybe if the brightness. Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so sad. Oops. I guess that was my password. It took me a while to to uh, figure this thing out. Oh my gosh, this is this is not a good catch at all right now. But it it it's kind of hard to see, but it has like some uh it has some red lines, so maybe it's because I pressed I pushed it, I had it down. No, I don't think it's the battery. It it was giving me like a um I should say it was giving me like a weird little sound when I had the battery connected. 
Uh, let's go ahead and run some programs. I don't know if I said it earlier, but it's missing the Windows key on the keyboard. So that is a pretty sad, pretty sad, you know, thing because some people love, love to use that, you know, I love to use that key. And as we can see on some of the shortcut keys, there it's saying super key and I don't have super key. Um, but I was still able to, to, to use this machine, luckily, when I had it for my T30. Because when you need to, when you want to run something, you just right click, and boom, you have all these programs. I guess I was using Ice Weasel for a while on this, which is really strange because I, well, this was before I really went with. Uh, I started driving into the Google botnet. Um, it is taking quite a bit of time to get this thing running. Let's go ahead and restore. What what do we had? What do we have going on? Uh, taking taking a little bit to to get there, which is totally fine. Um, yeah, the screen is uh pretty pretty nice. I think. There we go to the load up my background and all that good stuff. And there we go. So that's already in set. The ThinkPad forms looks uh, good. Um, <laughs> so weird that it has that weird color. Oh my gosh, that's going to bug me now. I was just going to talk about how great the display is. Uh, let's go ahead and open up a, our file manager so I can show you guys some photos. <laughs> the, uh, sc the screen is getting a little bit yellow or I should say red so I don't think I don't know if I had had that system at as default but oh yes there we go Mazda 787B look at that display tell me that's not awesome it is a AFFS um, can't think of what it was right now but um, it's a pretty sweet display uh, thank you Bibbin for selling me this computer I think I got it for like $60 or something like that. I'm not too sure. But yeah, the colors are just awesome. Uh, I'm a fan of uh, Gundam, if you guys haven't noticed. And, oh yeah, maybe I should do... There we go. To show you guys the greatness of uh, the this display. There we got some, some color uh, going bad. But if we have it all the way down... A um, little, little bit of color inversion, a little bit of color inversion, but I mean you can still pretty much tell what the hell you're looking at compared to other laptops of this time. And oh yeah, something from something from Bio Biomega. And I think that is about it. I guess another gun and wallpaper. I usually have the space wallpapers, but I didn't feel like putting any. And, oh yeah, let's go ahead and talk about the keyboard and stuff. Um, this keyboard is pretty solid. One thing, though, I have to say is that it does have a little bit of damage on here. Let me go ahead and change this camera setting stuff. Now here is a proper ThinkPad keyboard right there. Looks super nice. Um, we have little uh, tabs for the, you know, the which we calls it the lid for it to not bounce. Um, some use. This, I mean, it's it's a working machine. Um, I guess a, a, a quite common the little this little guy gets cracked right there from the Express card. But um, just just like the uh, T twenty two twenties, they get like a little hairline crack on the right side. Well, we have a centered bezel. Same with the uh, display centered as well. We have super awesome indicator lights right there. That one's showing that we have you know that green light right there is power. Hard drive. We have the caps lock. And if you press, I think F N. How do we get to the number pad? Huh. Is it shift scroll lock? Oh yeah, shift scroll lock. We have the number pad. Goodness. Um, Wi-Fi right there. 
it's, I think some might come with Bluetooth installed. This was still early in the time with Bluetooth. Um, we have also the battery. Uh, these ones, when it's when it's not fully charged, I think when it's, when it's not like 90% charged, it has like that orange amber light. Uh, I think when it's blinking, it's it's when it's like super low. And then we have the uh, sleep. And uh, let's go ahead and get typing. Let's get some typing on here. Let's recover because I seem to mess it up. Finish. Uh, I said I do love typing on this. X3 feels similar. Let's go ahead and just do a simple. All right. Now let's go ahead and get started on typing. Uh, how awesome is this system? Pretty damn good, I have to say.